Hi, this is Bob and here's some humor today, okay? On choosing an umbrella. With the rains expected, I decided to go over to the umbrella store and choose a good sturdy one to beat the monsoons. I was a little surprised to see a much wider range than they had the year before. Are you a student, sir? Asked the pleasant looking salesman inside the store. What difference would that make? I asked. Equally pleasantly. The student kind have extra strong steel ribs inside that are able to withstand a lathe's charge, he said, without a change in his pleasant face. And instead of cloth, we use tarpaulin to withstand water cannons during a morcha or band. I hastily told him I wasn't a student and we moved into the interiors of the shop. Would sir want a transparent one or one which will safeguard his privacy? I wonder what privacy there is to safeguard in the rains. I laughed and the pleasant looking salesman laughed with me. I assume sir is single. Why should you assume that? I asked a little crossly. Because if your madam walks a little close to you in the monsoon, or if sir has forgotten to put his top shirt button, the moral police will immediately arrest you. I told the young salesman that my wife and I kept a decent, discreet distance between us, even during the rains. And I always wear my top button, I shouted. But sir, you have a beard, said the owner, coming quickly as soon as he heard my raised voice. So what, I shouted. You could be mistaken for a terrorist, said the owner, and the salesman smiled at his owner, looked at me and nodded in agreement. I'll take the one that isn't transparent, I whispered, and the pleasant looking salesman smiled his approval as his boss went back to the counter. I looked at the different handles and decided to take the curved one. Don't, hissed the salesman. Why are you sharply pulling my hand away? It's the same shape as the finance minister's walking stick, he said. So what, I asked. I have no such dislike for the minister to avoid choosing something that looks like his stick. But you will be mistaken for forcing a new tax on the public. The handle might give you away and the people may lynch you. I had no idea it was so difficult choosing an umbrella and walked out and into the raincoat shop next door. Do you want a thin plastic type or a canvas one, sir? Asked another pleasant looking salesman. To beat the water cannons, the moral police and the HRD minister or the finance minister? I asked, laughing hysterically. Just to beat the monsoon, sir, said the salesman and looked at me very strangely. Thank you. This is Bob, signing off.